Hello, followers of Scientology. We are anonymous. We direct this message to you in good faith, with hopes that you better understand our motivations. Anonymous differentiates the actions of the leaders of your church from yourselves, and therefore wishes to assist you in this critical time. We ask that you take a moment to consider our message. The Church of Scientology promises you the study of truth and the better understanding of life. The Church promises personal salvation and the betterment of oneself. It strives for evolution to a higher state of being. These are goals most individuals have always endeavored for, but rarely attain. So we ask you, have you ever considered why monetary assets are required to achieve this cardinal step of evolution? If Scientology is capable of bringing mankind into a new way of being, then why must its followers provide large sums of currency over extended periods in order to progress through the ranks of better understanding? An advanced society would recognize the importance of knowledge and freely provide it to all those who wish to seek its bounty. Scientology leaders act against this doctrine and vigorously fight to keep materials from public view. These actions only serve to benefit the leadership of Scientology, and not its followers. The Church of Scientology has also been known to ask its followers to sever ties with friends and family when they are not also members of the Church. We ask you to consider this, and why this segregation must occur in order for its followers to improve oneself. Family and friends provide a strength that others cannot and would be an important asset in the effort of self-improvement. Scientology leaders discourage this, because they do not wish you to discuss the practices of the church with outsiders. These actions only serve to benefit the leadership of Scientology, and not its followers. Another critical issue is the legal history of the Church of Scientology. The church often refutes these legal practices, and informs its followers that any such information is a fabrication, created to discredit the church and its members. But we ask you, have you ever investigated these claims for yourself? There are many official documents available which confirm the involvement of the Church of Scientology and its members in the very crimes it denies. One example is Mary Sue Hubbard herself who pleaded guilty and was convicted of conspiracy against the United States of America during Operation Snow White. The Church of Scientology is also known for its strong oppression of critics. We ask you, why would an organization striving to improve mankind feel the need to silence and discredit those who oppose its views? Such policies are not congruent with the publicly established goals of Scientology, nor are they the actions of an enlightened group. The leadership of the Church of Scientology does not wish you know of these kinds of events, but we ask that you examine these actions and the many accusations against the Church of Scientology and come to your own conclusions of their legitimacy. Not doing so only serves to benefit the leadership of Scientology, and not its followers. We conclude this message to reinforce our position of guidance and support to the followers of the Church of Scientology. If you are one of the many living in fear of the Church, for your free thinking, or your desire to leave, then now is your time to assist in the movement against your oppressors. Knowledge is free. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.